Hey, everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Benovich here, talking about our risk for severe storms on Friday. It's a day we want you to be weather aware. We can get right to the details here, and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, you can see that system off to our west there. It's beginning to take shape in the middle of the country and really starting to see that low pressure crank up there. We're pulling in that warm, humid air from the south, the dry air from the southwest, and we're starting to see severe storms break out in the area that we expected today across Arkansas and parts of uh, Louisiana, the Arklatex region. Let's quickly look at that severe weather outlook, and I'll show you the area we're talking about. That's where we're going to see the severe weather risk tonight, and then overnight into tomorrow, that risk begins to shift to the east. And notice most of our area is in a medium to low risk. At one point, we had a, a, the red, the higher risk in our area. That has been whittled back a little bit, but the big story tomorrow is it is going to be nothing like Tuesday. It's going to be a far different system, and the first half of the day actually doesn't look too bad at all. In fact, I think the first half of the day will be fine. It's the evening hours that we're going to see scattered storms, and it's really dependent on where you are. This area right here in particular is an area that we've got to watch. Now, so why don't we have a perfect setup for severe weather like we did on Tuesday? We're lacking a couple more ingredients today. I'll move my head out of the way. That storm fuel is lacking, but not everywhere. I'm going to show you the few locations where it actually is lining up pretty well. When we look at the risk tomorrow, the overall risk right here is going to be roughly straight line winds but the tornado risk is elevated tomorrow in certain areas i i i'm not a big fan of seeing isolated tornadoes but that's kind of what there will be tomorrow i think we will see one or two tornado warnings tomorrow um it's not going to be widespread wind uh, for everybody but there's going to be wind as well but that severe weather risk does have me a little concerned and when we talk about fuel for storms we're talking about cape watch the fuel here surge up around six seven o'clock tomorrow i'll let it stop right there and you can see behind my head here uh, that's a pretty big area that we're going to watch for severe storms that's the area where there's actually a pretty good risk uh and now to the northwest i don't think we'll see much of a risk at all because it'll be kind of wedged in there and that will set the stage for kind of a a little calmer day for the foothills but here's a look at the timing right now Again, I'll move my head out of the way. I'll move it way down here so you can see it. Uh, but you can see, basically, middle of the afternoon, things should ramp up. But the time frame this go-around is not all day. It's going to be after 5 o'clock to about 9 o'clock. That's when we're going to see the worst weather for most of our area. So, again, faster moving system, shorter lived system, but moving through pretty quickly. Now, I'm going to show you a couple parameters here um, as we look at some of the outlooks for tornadic activity. Uh, here's your tornado outlook tomorrow and you can see the tornado outlook uh, basically showing we've got about a five percent chance in, in um, orange and two percent in the yellow area that is elevated five percent is pretty significant compared to just five the wind threat about five and fifteen percent so we'll look at the future cast here and i'm going to show you the radar first and the wind speeds a couple things to note here notice the wind speeds do pick up quite a bit tomorrow uh, this is three o'clock we'll go to four o'clock Notice the winds picking up out of the southeast. We are seeing some scattered showers and storms here. Could these be rotating? I think these are probably going to be tame unless they're forming right along the warm front, which by this time will be up in here. So need to keep an eye on those. But it's this main line. I know it doesn't look like much, but this is the line. It's not nearly as big as the one on Tuesday. It's kind of smaller. But embedded in that line, we have some individual cells, which have me a little bit concerned. And right there, I'm going to back that up just a hair. See that right there around 8 o'clock? that these these look like supercells embedded in a line and I, I just say by the look on the radar um, also notice the winds are pretty gusty there they move out pretty quickly so why does that have me concerned well if I look at the tornado parameter and one of the thing I'm going to show you is the significant tornado parameter I'm going to grab it right here um, this is typically the ingredients for tornadoes I'm going to go through tomorrow into the evening hours right about that time frame when that rain is moving in there is a little uptick. Now, it's really close to the Charlotte area, but in this area, look at that. It's at least elevated and really elevates as you go down to the southeast toward the PD and the Fayetteville area. But when I look at the rotational tracks, which is the guidance trying to show us what kind of, what, what, which one of those storms could have a rotating updraft. Not that it's producing a tornado, but it has a rotating updraft, which, by the way, is a precursor to severe storms and sometimes and often tornadoes. So we go through tomorrow and we show the rotation tracks not a lot nothing jumps off a couple of those that those aren't big deals but look at what's developing down towards chester uh right in here along the line and i want you to watch this tornado track or rotational track on the radar on the guidance try to shift north and then right there that 
you know, if I see yellow and light yellow, that's low, but we're getting into the medium high here with this track right here. That's a little bit of a red flag. Now, here's the thing I'll tell you. This does not mean a tornado. It just means we'll have rotating storms. And it doesn't mean it's gonna be right there, but it tells me somewhere in here, we're gonna have one or two of these storms have rotation in them. And again, that's kind of what you gotta watch out for tomorrow. And maybe the biggest, you know, the biggest thing we're gonna be looking out for tomorrow is the fact that, yeah, south and east of I-85, this area right in here, I definitely am gonna be watching this closely between five, six, seven, eight, nine o'clock in the evening. Um, you could see after eight o'clock, things kind of move out. Now, another thing to note, there won't be a ton of heavy rain, but with the saturated soil, it wouldn't take much to cause a little bit of flooding. These, these totals aren't off the charts. That's not bad. So it's not a huge rain event like Tuesday. So that's one thing, you know, wind speed wise. Yeah, it's going to be windy, but not nearly as widespread. Let me back this up a little bit. You can see the winds picking up and there's the wedge, <laughs> the good old wedge kind of locked in there. You know, we had 50 to 60 mile per hour winds here on Tuesday. It's more in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range for this event. Unless the thunderstorms end up, you know, in, within the line, produce stronger winds. And you see that maybe the, the thunderstorm winds, but the environmental winds with the front aren't as bad. And on the backside, it will be it will be gusty. It's going to be windy, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing like Tuesday. So let's go back to the timing. I think this is the best graphic I can give you tonight is, you know, tomorrow's a day we want you to stay weather aware, especially there in that 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock time frame. I will do another vlog tomorrow. Of course, we'll have you covered. But again, hopefully we'll get this out here. And then we can turn our attention to the fun stuff and talk about cold temperatures and maybe wintry weather next week. Tuesday, Wednesday time frame does look interesting. I will do a vlog on that as well once we get this severe weather out of here. So have a great Friday.